Praise God, praise God. I thought I was done too. And then God um, gave me something else. Hopefully this is the last one tonight. But you know I don't get back and forth up on here unless it's God. Because <laughs> y'all understand. It, it, to you it's Facebook. But to me it's pouring out. Praise God, hallelujah. So let me just get to the point because this is a serious one. Oh, this is serious. I've been seeing this one my whole life. The title of this live is this. Pastor, stop holding people hostage in those dead churches. Y'all stop that. You ain't got no power in that church. You fornicating. You committing adultery. You doing stuff. So let me go make this plain and to the point. The anointing trickles down from the head, from the head all the way to the body. So if the head's sick, the body's sicker. Stop that. Let me tell y'all the rules of protocol because y'all understand. Number one, that's not your people. That's God's people. Number two, if they're not growing, you're supposed to release them. Let me tell y'all something because y'all y'all don't understand this. Man then came in and read, made all these protocols and rules of the church. You're supposed to go wherever God leads you. If God leads you to um, visit this church, that church, whatever, they, they try to make you feel guilty. Oh, you church hopping or you just in that. Most of y'all are staying and you're not even growing. And, and how you know you just sitting up there? Every Sunday, every Saturday, every Friday, every Wednesday, you're not even growing. Because if you can't cast out no demons, if you can't speak in tongues, I'm just being real with you, I ain't got time to play. Where's the power in your life? If the power is not relevant in your life, then that means it's not relevant in your church. Pastor, preacher, teacher, because they speak very well. I mean, very eloquent. I mean, have you just emotional? And they see the emotional high. And how you know? Because it drops as soon as you leave that, that parking lot, that building, and your home facing the same stuff. And then God says, stop manipulating his people. Because guess what? It, oh, Lord, I knew he was going to make me go here. Y'all not going to like this. Especially in small towns. <laughs> uh, well, we didn't see you in church today. But we heard you went to so-and-so church. That's manipulation, which is witchcraft, pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle. Stop doing that. Maybe God have a word in that church form. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all holding people hostage and God say stop. Because if they're not growing, God going to hold you responsible, pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle, prophet. Stop manipulating people. Got a church of dead people. And I'm talking about spiritually. So, so let, me, let me correct that. Spiritually. Because you, you, you know you have a spiritual death, right? Anytime. Oh, man, they got so many broken people. So many broken people sitting up in churches Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. Half of y'all don't even do altar calls no more because you got fast food churches. What is fast food churches? You got five, six services. The Holy Spirit don't even have time to work because you're getting that money. Oh, yeah, I see it how I said. You can get mad if you want. Come, come for me, honey. Ain't nothing but a, ain't nothing but a thing because I don't mind answering you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I sure will answer you. What authority I have, the same authority you have. Oh, yes, in case y'all don't know, because let me go ahead and pull this plug up in here because most of y'all be trying to come at me as if I'm a Facebook prophet. No, baby, I've been on, what, how many pulpits? I think two pulpits, yeah. But but I, I'm not your regular pastor, preacher, teacher. All right, I, I, I work with the fivefold. Hallelujah. And just to let you know, you see when martial law come and new world order, God already prepared me. 2015 is when I left the church. Uh, my last church, uh, I'm sorry, actually it was 2017. Um, 2016, I'm sorry. When I was under um, Pastor Michael Wright in Abbeville, Louisiana. I was one of the um, pastors on um, staff. So don't ever act like I'm a Facebook prophet. And, and I have all my qualifications just in case y'all need it. Because y'all acting like it's paperwork. And to be honest with you, paper don't really mean nothing. Ooh, I just said something. Some of y'all hold people hostage with the paperwork. If you go to another church, uh, it's, it's non-valid. That's a lie before God. How, how you going how you, how you to tell them they're non-valid? How you going to take their paperwork from them? Now, if a person operate out of God, ungodliness, now they can be revoked. That part is true. If, you, if they're found like doing like fire, you know, like stuff that's not of God. But you can't just do that because they're about to leave your church, pastor, preacher, teacher. Y'all doing too much. Don't want people to go visit nobody else's church or, and, and my, my thing is this, if you really love people, you let them go, let them go and grow. I said something, let them go and grow.
Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm telling you what does say the Lord. God is tired of y'all holding his people hostage. And then what you try to do is you start preaching from the pulpit. And you and they didn't told you all their business. So now you done manipulated them and staying. God gonna get you. God gonna get you. Let me tell y'all protocol. And I know protocol. I've been in church since I was 27 years old. I'm 51. I didn't do all, everything right. But I've learned. Let me tell you protocol. On that pulpit, you're not supposed to teach politics or personal business. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. They all doing it. Are they doing it? You suppose just the word of God supposed to go across that pulpit because the thing about God is salvation and souls. Oh, y'all thought it was uh, about Donald Trump, huh? All these pastors that that have allowed the po politics to come in the church, God gonna get them. And the personal stuff. If you have an awe against your brother and sister, you go to them. You don't go over the pulpit and be talking and preaching about them like they don't know who it is. And everybody else know. God gonna get you. God going to get you. Y'all better stop acting unruly. I'm telling you what thus said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. No, that, that's, that's witchcraft. Witchcraft in the highest form. It's called Christian witchcraft. Come on, somebody. And manipulation at the highest form. And then when y'all hurt people, and that's where that church hurt came in. Church hurt is real. Because people have been so hurt, they don't know who to um, believe anymore. But you know what I tell y'all? Trust God. Trust God. Because to be honest with you, we all fall short of the glory of God. Every last one of us has been hurt. I don't care who you are, pastors, preachers, teachers, everybody has been hurt, taken advantage of, whatever. But you don't let that stop you from being who God has called you to be. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because that means you was looking at people and not God. Oh, I'm going to tell the truth up in here tonight. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's all God told me to say. But I had to tell y'all that because I experienced that too, just to be honest with you. I don't know why God wanted me to go here, but I'm going here. I remember when I started the church. I ain't even gonna say the town or nothing. People started helping me. Next thing I know, I started getting messages. You're trying to steal our. <laughs> I don't mean no harm. God, please forgive me. Because you know, I don't like hurting them, but I gotta tell the truth. When you don't have no power in your life, all you're doing is hurting them people. And God has to pay you back, Pastor, preacher, teacher. Because that means you're playing with their life. And you don't have the authority to do that. Because people are dealing with some real stuff. Some real issues. Some real hurts. Some real pains. Some real disappointments. And if you're not teaching them how to overcome. And how to heal and be delivered. Then that means you're hurting them. And you're breaking their spirit. And that is not of God. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Because if you're not healing. And helping them be delivered by the power of God. That means you're holding them in bondage, which is not the oracles of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God say. God say in 2020, it's stopping. I got to say this. I got to. I didn't know he was going to make me say this. People going to start falling down behind them pulpits again. They're going to just fall down. Hold on. He got. I got a new one. See on his Facebook, so many people been manipulating. I mean... The stories I've heard is, rid is ridiculous. Y'all remember I said this. They're going to start falling dead right behind, right behind this camera playing. Because I need to tell y'all something. When I get on this camera, I'm going to tell you what God tell me. It means the same thing as if you was in a pulpit. And therefore, he has to backlash you. Or, or they think this a game. You see, because this is what they do. They get on here and they watch other people. Oh, I could do that. Then they go steal, they steal words and stuff. They go to the, the real ones and, and they go and they act like God told it to them. Ooh, y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. I ain't going to say no names tonight. Some of y'all top ones on Facebook. They ain't real more than a man in the moon. Ain't nobody lying to y'all. I'm telling you the truth. And when y'all going to find out, it's going to hurt y'all feelings. They have to fame. And, and you can always tell. Look at the subjects. You feel when it's the power of God. Because what comes from God goes into your spirit. When they just on stars all the time. Uh oh, I said it already. Huh? When they just on stars and, and the latest news. God ain't going to just talk about that. God's trying to get you to heaven with him. So he ain't talking about Oprah. He ain't talking about Kirk Franklin all the time. He trying to get you saved. He trying to get you to talk to him at night. That means he's going to come personal. Hallelujah. This stuff real. You don't let nobody mess with your lifeline. This your lifeline. 
You don't let anybody just speak to your spirit. Hallelujah. And to be honest with you, that's the ones that be having a thousand, two thousand. Oh, I'm about to go here. The world love its own. Y'all better catch that, Christians. Y'all better catch that. The world love its own. They'll never let me get to a thousand people on here. Y'all, I got what oh, almost 60,000 followers. They'll never do it. Y'all ain't ready for me. Because they know one thing. That'll know in the break through them airwaves. Hallelujah. People get saved, healed, sanctified, baby. This stuff real. But the fake ones, they let their feet go. They don't, they don't even try to stop them because they want y'all tainted. Yeah, I say what I said, how I said it. Hallelujah, this stuff real. All right, that's all I got to say. Let God's people go, Pharaoh, before God send that plague. <laughs> okay, keep playing. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.